Taurus. Hi guys. Welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is your April love reading. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing well out there. I've been praying for hu all humanity and I specifically call out my subscribers, viewers, supporters. Um, I pray for everybody you guys. So I'm praying that you guys are t handling all of this well and you know I'm sending you my love. But it, the April, April is approaching, and let's find out what's going on with love. Keep in mind, I could be doing this reading for your cross watcher. Hey, cross watcher. <laughs> um, so please take it how it resonates. Do not try to make this fit. I am a Taurus myself. Hoping we have a beautiful reading. We've had a couple of really nice readings, you guys. Um, so I'm hoping there's another beautiful one here for you guys holy spirit holy angels universe source what messages do you have for my taurus for the month of april in love giving them guidance understanding wisdom knowledge enlightenment and truth truth for healing clarity freedom and peace of mind yes what messages do you have for taurus for the month of april when it comes to their love life what's going on with taurus in love At the bottom of the deck, underlying energy, we have ooh, the four of coins. Somebody's holding back or holding on. That could be both. Holding back, holding on. Yeah, we'll see. See how that four of pentacles plays out, four of coin plays out in your reading. All right, spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus and love for the month of April. What messages do you have for Taurus in the month of April in love? Okay. Four of Cups reversed. Blew out reversed. So this is um maybe you have a new goal in mind. You're like some kind of new beginning in mind. Oh, when it maybe when it comes to love. When it comes to the lovers. Ooh, okay, well, let's see how this is going to turn out. Four of Cups. A new, like, you're, like, some newfound ambition for maybe love. I don't know. Why is Four of Cups reversed? Okay. I saw the High Priestess. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe using your intuition. Being wise about it, Okay. Maybe you're thinking of, maybe you are considering what you've already learned. That's a high priestess. Very intelligent, very intelligent, very wise, um, intuitive. Why the high priestess? The magician. Manifestation. Trying to manifest something. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? Ooh, ooh, okay, that was, okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, the Three of Cups, yeah, oh, look. The Three of Cups wanted to come out with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, are, are you trying to manifest, like, dating, getting together, maybe a reunion with someone? But long term, long term, though. Why is the magician here? Wow. <laughs> Oh, maybe a person from your past. Um, if this is not a past person, this could be like a friend. Somebody you, you, you've you known. Maybe you've known this person for a while. Hmm. Why the Six of Cups? Feeling, oh. Oh, but the Emperor of Reverse, Taurus. Taurus. The Emperor of Reverse is someone who's inflexible. Not they don't they're they're just excessively in like trying to be in control. Why the Emperor reversed? Two of Pentacles, because you're juggling. What are you juggling? Why is it two of Pentacles here? What are you juggling? Why is the two of pentacles here? Why is the two of pentacles here? 
Oh. Ace of Cups. A new beginning in love. Okay, I mean, I feel like you want love, Taurus. Maybe I, you're missing, are you missing someone? Someone from your past? But it's like, you have to be in control, though. You have to be in control. It's probably why you're juggling, because you're not in control like that. When it comes to your emotions, I mean, they come, and you get to choose how, what you do with them, but it doesn't stop them, stop the emotions from showing up. Why the Ace of Cups? Ace of Wands, new beginning, passionate. Why the Ace of Wands? What the heck? Why is the Ace of Wands here? I feel like you're trying to do things smart. Four of Swords in the reverse. Um. Hold on. Four of Cups. So you could have been... You could have, like, not... I mean, what am I trying to say? Either you're tired here, or the Four of Swords is, like, someone not putting in any action. So this could have been you, right? Not putting in any action. But I, during that time, I feel like there was a missed opportunity. Like, not putting in action you you missed out on something because you were juggling like I don't know why is the four of cups here oh this is the king of wands in the reverse but you've been through a lot maybe that's why I mean were you going through something because with the Four of Swords reversed, it's like someone... I don't know. I'm kind of... Let me get the energy of this because this is... I'm not entirely sure. What is the energy behind the Four of Swords reversed? What is the energy behind the Four of Swords reversed? The Page of Swords wanted to pop out. The King of Cups. This is a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Maybe, okay, maybe you were like, it's like you were distant from your emotions. Like you weren't in tune with your emotions. And it's like now you're juggling this, this whole love thing, this whole being passionate. That's why this is your new goal. Like, okay, I think I might want to try this love thing. Mm, Taurus? I don't know. This might be your cross watcher because Taurus, I don't know. I mean, kind of Taurus. You can kind of be like this. I've been like this once upon a time in my life, but never like in, it's in a different way. So I can't say this is not Taurus. This could be my, my fellow Taurians. But I feel like maybe you, you, you cut off your emotions. Like you were taking a break from your emotions and now it's like you want to renew those feelings again because I think if you something happened like you missed something why is the king of wands reversed oh three of swords okay I get oh my god Taurus <laughs> I I feel like you had your heart broken in the past you had your heart broken. So you went through a lot with maybe a love relationship. And so because of that, you you wouldn't allow yourself to feel anything. And maybe you you were missing out on some good stuff here. What, what is the energy behind the Four of Cups? I feel like you were missing out on things. Why is the Four of Cups? What is the energy behind the Four of Cups? Because nobody... Nobody can really be in a relationship with someone who is emotionless. That's very difficult to do. What is the energy? What's the energy behind this Four of Cups? Oh, the lovers. You did. Oh, my God, Taurus. Oh, this could even be regret, but I feel like it's you missed out on 
some like real love, yo. Because you were you were heartbroken. But I feel like this made you whatever you went through, like it made you better. It made you appreciate love maybe. What is the energy behind this Four of Cups reverse? Okay, so you have this new... I, I think you were dwelling on the past. Maybe now you're apologetic. Okay, so now you're going to be moving in a better direction. I want to clarify this Six of Swords. You get what I'm saying? Like, you you were stuck on the past. What happened in the past? How heart, how, how much your heart ached. But now... You're trying to be smart, but you're. I, I think you need to still relinquish a little bit of control. I get your. I understand your control. D don't get me wrong. I understand this need for control, but this is this is excessive. You know what I'm saying? Too much control is not good. Too much of anything is not good for you. But if you want to let somebody in, you're gonna have to relinquish a little bit of control. I'm sorry. That's the risk we take in love. It is. So why is the six of swords here? Okay, Eight of Swords. So maybe you were just stuck. You were stuck in the past, boo. You were stuck in the past. And now you're like, I want to get out of this. I don't want to be stuck in the past anymore. Because there's, I mean, I want love. Ooh, yes you do. But this is just my, from what I see, let go some of the control. So... I mean, is there a person you have in mind or something, Taurus? <laughs> like, do you have somebody in mind or what? What's really going on here? Or, you know, sometimes it just comes to you be like, you know what? I actually do want love. You know what I'm saying? You might not even be entertaining or dating or talking to anybody, but sometimes it just comes to you that way. So let's see what happened in the past. All right. What happened in the past between Taurus and their love interests? What happened in the past? What happened in the past? Oh, uh, the Six of Wands. Okay, could have been um, someone. I don't know. Let me clarify that because this is a card of victory. You could have gotten victory over something. This could be someone being recognized. This is shining bright all in your fame and glory let's see maybe you were like the one popping why is the six of wands here maybe in the past you overcame something too overcame an obstacle page of cups but in the reverse maybe you were maybe you received a lot of attention but you are still so insecure, though. Insecure, sad, you know what I'm saying? Why the Page of Cups reverse? Ooh, the King of Swords. Ooh, Icy Cold. Oh my God, I kind of got that from the first spread. Icy Cold, were we? Were we cold? Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Okay. Okay. Ace of Swords. So you got some mental clarity. Something came to mind. Something became clear to you. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay. Um, The World card. This is a card of completion or fulfillment or maybe you knew oh seven of wands so maybe this is you wanting to end a cycle like really bring it to completion of you being on guard this being on guard being defensive is very exhausting you know you just stand and hold a stick like this this is what we do with our emotions like that's that's so tiring. It can become very exhausting. And it's like I don't want to resist anymore cuz this is resistance. You guys pushing against something 
you don't have to do a whole lot of moving. If you put your hand up against a wall like this, sorry, you can't see. If you push and you push, it it's pushing back at you. At some point, you're just going to get tired. Imagine doing that year after year after year, I mean, for so long because you've been hurt and you don't want to be hurt anymore, right? You're trying to be in control. <sighs> it's scary to relinquish control, but that that's how you let people in. How do you have something beautiful if you never let someone in? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nine of Cups. Maybe you wanted to offer your cup to somebody. Could have followed your wanted to follow your heart. Why the Nine of Cups? Uh oh. Ooh, the Queen of Wands. Okay. Was she supposed to come out upright? Maybe I, I need to ask this. Maybe I should ask again. Because the Queen of Wands reverse is someone who's demanding and pushy. The Page of Wands. And the reverse is like a lack of direction, someone who's lazy or hasty. Let me ask again because I'm not really sure. Let me ask again. Spirit, why is why did the Knight of Cups why did the Knight of Cups come out for Taurus? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so maybe you offered your cup to someone, right? But there was, you guys didn't get along or there was a conflict, right? There was a conflict with maybe something long term, there, like a long term committed relationship. That's probably you with you. Like, like committing to you was a conflict. Yeah, I think there was a conflict with commitment. Uh, Taurus, this could be you. I think this could be your cross watcher. But there was a conflict with, I think, something long term and committed. Why the Queen of Pentacles? That's Taurus energy. The Sun. That's Leo energy. Positive. Something was. Uh, you're optimistic or positive about something. Now, why is the Sun card here? Oh, the Magician. Manifesting something? Why the magician? Oh, death card, Scorpio energy. I don't know. I feel like you were very positive with maybe... Um, or you felt like you could accomplish something. Why is the death card here? The King of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, sorry, Taurus. Hold on. What is the energy behind the Sun card? Two of Wands. But I think you felt very still. Like you still felt positive about your life. Like whatever direction you were going. Maybe love wasn't all that, but... Maybe your life, because this is this two of wands is someone looking at their life, trying to decide which direction they want to go. Like, I think you felt very positive still in your life. You were trying to manifest something. Maybe some type of transformation. But I, I think you didn't have a good grip on, on things. Not with the king of pentacles reverse. Like, you don't, you didn't have a good grip on it. Maybe that's why you're so controlled, because you need control over it. Why the King of Pentacles reverse? Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? That's why people are afraid of love, because they don't—they have no control over what someone else does with their heart. It's like, here, here's my heart, you know, and they give you your heart, and you have no control over what they do with it. Because they are in possession of your heart whether you're there or not. Because you gave it to them. And I get it. But it's a risk you take. But that's why people are afraid. They don't have control over what someone else does. Why is the king of pentacles in reverse? So they try to be in control by not giving their heart away. Seven of pentacles. So there's a waiting here of what? Why is the seven of pentacles here? 
Why is the seven of pentacles here? So when you feel like you're afraid of love, just remember, okay, it's because I don't, I can't control someone else. Why is the page of, I'm sorry, why is the seven of pentacles here? Eight of cups. Waiting. Think, feel like they should walk away. Feeling like you should walk away. Because you're not in control. Oh my God, Taurus. That's what I'm saying. Why do you want to walk away? Because this, if you're, if he's like, if I lose, if I've lost my grip on this, then I should just walk away. Oh man. So you really have a big fear of this. Maybe this is you like not even wanting to commit to someone. I mean, you could be dealing with another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another earth sign. I mean, or this person could just be like about their money, business, you know. Um, that makes sense. Okay, okay. You think like, should I walk away? Really? What is the energy behind the Six of Wands? What is the energy behind the Six of Wands? What is the energy behind the Six of Wands? The Hanged Man. So changing your perspective. Because I think that it's like I'm getting all this attention, but I still feel insecure and sad about love and relationships. Like I'm super icy cold. I'm not showing my emotion. But I don't, but something comes to you. Like I think it, something changed your perspective with that hangman. You know what I'm saying? And so now, you're like, I, I don't want, I don't want to... I think you wanted to put an end, change the cycle of being so defensive. And maybe you did open up yourself, but then you you, you still didn't want to take it all the way. Because that, that really has you losing your grip. So I think if the moment you feel out of control, you you run. It's like fight or, fight or flight, right? Is it fight or flight? Fight or flight, yes. Sh to stay or to go. All right, so what's going to happen between Taurus and their love interest? What's going to happen? Oh, Taurus. Alright, Taurus. Alright, what's going to happen? What is the potential outcome between Taurus and their love interest? Okay, Page of Cups. So maybe you will apologize. Maybe you'll just have a conversation. Very sweet. This page is very, it's like a sweetheart. Um, something about love. Telling someone how you feel, sharing your emotions. The Empress, Taurus at the bottom. Ooh, maybe you'll make something right. The Justice, maybe you'll make something right, okay? We'll see. Maybe you'll do the right thing. Page of Cups between you and love interest. So you're, you're going to go to that person. person's going to come to you. Why is the Page of Cups here? Knight of Pentacles, but not right now. It, a very slow moving. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? But this person will eventually. You or this person will eventually come. Okay, they're walking away from something. Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Oh, okay. Oh, this is three cards. All in the reverse. So somebody, they're walking away from the past. Ooh, that's so beautiful because if this is you or your part, your person Taurus, you're walking away from the past. Okay. Um, so you have the Six of Cups. This is releasing the past, okay? Like you're growing up. You're growing up. Taurus, Ace of Wands in the reverse. These are all reversed. Um, maybe because you feel like you've been set back. This is like a setback. Um, the High Priest is in the reverse. Because either you feel like you've... I don't know, like you, you're not... I feel like there's something either you don't understand or you feel like you're out of the loop. Why is the High Priestess reversed? I think you're leaving be behind the past. Oh yeah, King of Swords.
maybe you um, misunderstood something about this king of swords energy why is the king of swords here oh whoa okay and now you're trying to pursue something why is the knight of swords here this is actually a very very good reading because i feel like there's growth there's understanding trying to understand you know our ways and how we are why is the knight of swords here and how people perceive us oh okay the sun now you're trying to pursue something positive i think i think you you're trying to leave the past behind hmm what is the energy behind the sun card okay the devil in the reverse is releasing something moving on in a positive way i think again i think you are letting something go you're 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 trying to move on a more positive direction this is beautiful taurus why is the sun card here okay that's a lot of cards let's try it again why is the sun card here Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? The queen of pentacles. Um, again, that, I mean, you could be dealing with the fellow Taurus. Uh, any kind of earth sign here. Anyone who's taken on this queen of pentacles energy. Who's, you know, she's a very thoughtful, intelligent person. Male or female. Um, okay. Okay, this is good. This is good, Taurus. This is actually really, really good. It might take you some time, but you're moving in the right direction. Good for you. Good for you, Taurus. So let's get your advice. I love it. I'm here for it. I, I love... Oh, Lord. I love when people come to the realization, like they see themselves for who they are and they change it for the better. Oh, my God. That just... That does something to my heart. It just warms my heart. Seriously. <laughs> like a person who just be like, all right, I see myself of how I was and I don't want to be that person. Because that person was cold and icy and just emotionless and fearful. And now it's like, I don't want to be that person. Like, how do I not be this person? Very nice. Very nice. All right. What advice do you have for my Tauruses in love? What advice do you have for my Tauruses in love? Okay. What advice do you have for Taurus in love? What advice do you have for Taurus in love? What advice do you have for my Taurus in love? Okay. Oh, have faith. That's a Hierophant card. Booyah. But something is telling me to read it as a faith card. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Knight of Swords at the bottom. Okay. Why is the Faith card here for Taurus's advice? Why is the Faith card here for Taurus's advice? Did I mention it? This is like the Hierophant card. Yeah, there's. It's this. It is in a, in place of the Hierophant, which have the same meaning. Why is the Faith card here for Taurus? Page of Swords. Okay. Ooh, the Fool in the Reverse. Um, I I feel like there's some type of truth here. What is the energy behind the Faith card? The Moon with the Lovers. Okay. Hmm. There's some type of truth here that you need to face or you need to speak on because with the fool in reverse, this talks about someone being hesitant to face the truth, I think. Because 
I, what I'm getting is with the, with the moon and the lovers, moon and the lovers, like you're not admitting that you want love. This is a card of tradition, marriage. Like if you want that, Taurus, just th that's what you want. It's okay to want that. But I think you're not facing the truth. I mean, I have this, the moon here with the page of swords. Here's just like, I'm hesitant. Why is the full card in reverse? You could even feel like you're making a bad decision. Justice. Doing things the right way. You're hesitant to do, I think, more traditional type of things. to com Like commitment. I think you could be afraid of that. Like hesitant, like feeling like it's not a good choice. Like maybe you will be um like things won't go your way or go as planned. Why is the justice card here? Oh, this card was turned over. You could be confused, the seven of cups. I don't know when it turned over though. Why is the justice card here? Okay, oh. The Emperor. Um, this is Aries energy. I, I feel like this is you taking control. Again, like that control thing. Why is the Emperor here? Eight of Wands. Taking some sort of action. Speaking, communicating. Why is the Eight of Wands here? I think you need to... I think it's okay to speak your truth. Oh, man. Three of Swords, about what? Why is it Three of Swords here? Three of Wands. Feeling like you deserve better? Feeling like you deserve better. Okay. Um, Taurus, I think this is you admitting... Facing the truth that, yeah, you do deserve bed. Yeah, you are heartbroken. We, I get it with this emperor. Like, but I feel like you're hesitant to do the right thing because you feel like you may make a bad choice. Um, but I think you're, you're good here. It's, a, it's risk you have to take. Everybody takes a risk in love. Anything worth something, should I say. Anything worth something, you, it's risky. Okay? It's time to face the truth. Speak your truth. I want love. I want commitment. I want the love of my life. I want A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever, right? It's okay. You don't have to be hesitant. Have faith. Have faith. All right? All right, guys. That's all I have for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with this situation. I think it's beautiful. I think you just have to relinquish control, okay? And I will see you guys.